Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, St. Patrick's Day supper is over, and we have leftovers. So tonight, I'm making a leftover makeover meal. Corned beef potato hash and bubble and squeak. Here are our leftovers. In here is... Um, cabbage and there's probably leftover onion in there and here is our leftover corned beef from last night and trust me I've had a hard time keeping this away from Howard so this is the basis for our leftover makeover meal now make no mistake I'm gonna try and keep some of this for Reuben sandwiches tomorrow but we'll see what I come up with I have a jar of my home canned potatoes. You can use them. Now, bubble and squeak is usually made with leftover fried vegetables. But I don't have any leftover potatoes, so I'm going to use these and some onions in the corned beef hash, and we're going to fry this up in butter. Wonderful stuff. Let's get so the started. The bubble and squeak isn't going to take very long. So we want to get started on our potato and corned beef hash. So first, I want to look at this piece of meat and take off the best part for sandwiches tomorrow. And I'm going to say, oh yeah, we'll be able to get some nice, a couple of nice sandwiches out of that. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to leave this. Okay, so first, let's cut up this. Now you can make this, you can put it in the blender if you want, but I like chunks of meat. Now remember, this is a leftover makeover meal, so this hash isn't going to be as meaty as you may expect it to be. So I'm going to get my, frying, my cast iron skillet going. All right, now I'm going to use the small side of the chopper to really mince up the potatoes and onions. Now I'm not going to use all these potatoes because we don't need them all. It's a whole bottle. But what I am going to do is put them back in the fridge and I will probably use them for breakfast tomorrow. Butter is almost burnt, which is just right. And then I'm going to pour this into the other pan for the bubble and squeak. In goes our corned beef. And then in goes potato and onion. We're just going to bring this all together. Yeah, this is going to be mostly potatoes, but you know what? It's going to be good. Isn't it, honey? Generous portion of pepper. A little bit of garlic powder, just a little bit. Whoops. Now, this hash, we want to just kind of brown up and then we want to smush it all down into almost a plate. But I don't think that's going to happen here. just mash this down right into the pan. Bubble and Squeak has different recipes in different homes. When I was growing up, Bubble and Squeak was just leftover fried vegetables, usually that contained cabbage. And again, generous portion of pepper, 
a pinch of salt. And supper is almost ready. Now before I slip this over, I'm gonna, I just thought I would elevate the flavor just a little bit with some mustard powder because what goes better on corned beef than mustard, right? So we're just gonna pop that in there. Oh yeah, starting to get that lovely brown look. That's what I am talking about. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Pack it back down. And then we'll stir it again in a few minutes. Bubble and squeak. It's bubbling and not quite squeaking because there's too much water in here. So we're going to turn it up really get it bubbling because when that water's gone she'll begin to squeak alrighty it's just about time to dish up see you want this brown you got your potatoes kind of crusty and oh my ho oh, oh, ho oh, daddy all right and our bubble and squeak is bubbling and squeaking, so I'm going to get this on a plate and we'll take it to Daddy. Okay, this is potato and corned beef hash and bubble and squeak. It's a leftover makeover meal from St. Patrick's Day dinner. Mm -hmm. it's awesome. Oh, here comes the mooch. <laughs> this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and that's meal number two out of that $12 corned beef. Just saying. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.